Hello folks, the second edition offer book is out. You can buy the ebook right now if you want. Uh, the easiest way is just go to our site and under resources, it is the first link. Uh, the print edition, by the way, is coming soon. So th in this video, what we wanna do is we wanna focus on the GFI TW, which is the greatest formula in the world pattern, uh, which we cover in the book. And uh, the GFI TW pattern is pretty kick-ass. It's typically used with custom calendars, but we wanna showcase a scenario where it's used outside of that because we do believe it has wide applicability. It's, it's a pretty useful pattern uh, to learn. So this is set up as a training exercise. So we'll outline the problem and we would like you to take a shot at it and then you can come back and watch the rest of the video to see the solution. So let's get into it. Here's the problem scenario. We at Power Pivot Pro, we ran our crowdfunding campaign for our second edition book. By the way, thank you for to all the supporters for your generous contributions there. And the way the program was set up was that the perks were cumulative. So this is a simplified version of that for this training. So in the sense, we had these different perk levels, ebook, sticker, printed book, poster, and t-shirt. And let's say, for example, you bought the printed book, you would also get the DAX sticker and you would also get the ebook, right? So it's, it's kind of a cumulative award level. Well, that's great. That's how we set it up. But here's what we get in our download from Indiegogo. When we download that who's contributed what, it just says, hey, this person, um, Sheila, she bought a printed book. But now we know that she also gets the sticker and the ebook. That's just the way our perk levels were set up. Great. So now we have this data and we also define this quick uh, perk table just to, just to have a lookup table here. But here's our goal. Now, of course, the first part, this is trivial, right? So this one is really easy. That's a straightforward pivot that, hey, who bought how many awards at a selected level? But what we really want to do is do this one, where, hey, give me a count of where people bought at this level or higher, right? So to, in order to determine that how many eBooks I need to send out, I need to not only count the eBooks, but I also need to count these guys get the ebook, these guys, these guys, these guys. So for that one, I need to sum all of it up and that gives me 100. And of course, the same pattern is repeated for other award levels. So that's a problem. Go ahead, take a shot at it, download the problem file and see if you can solve it. And of course, you can lean on the book uh, on chapter 25, the GFI TW pattern, if you need help. Once you've taken a shot, come back and watch the rest of the video to see the solution. So let's see and try to solve this. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add these tables to Power Pivot. That's our table one. And that is our table two. So now we have kind of a data table, lookup table, and I'm gonna relate both of them. So let's create a new pivot table and see if we can build the solution pivot that we were looking for. So we're looking for, so this pivot is our goal. Let's do perk and I noticed something right away that it's not sorting correctly. So let me go fix that really quick. So I don't want this to be sorted alphabetically. So I'll specify a sort order. So now if I switch back to Excel, it's going to refresh and you, you can see it goes from the lowest award level to the highest one. Perfect. And let's do the simple formula first. For this one, we're simply doing a count of that list. That'll give me the right answer. So there we go. Now I know that 23 people selected the ebook level. But now I want to answer how many people uh, do how many ebooks do I need to ship out because the higher levels get the ebook as well. So let's define that formula.
There we go. That's our target pivot. Let's add some color to it. Now let me go back and talk about the formula. So the GFI TW pattern, this is essentially the heart of it, right? So it starts with this filter and then all work. You clear all filters on a specific table. And then this part is what we call the navigation arithmetic. And typically we're using this with custom calendars. So we're doing year to date, year over year, things like that. But we use the same logic to say, hey, show me so now that we have cleared all, all filters we have complete independence in the specific perks that we select so we are essentially saying hey show me uh, you know this perk and higher and that's that's the logic that is doing if you would like to understand and see other applications of the gfi tw pattern go ahead and get a copy of our new book power pivot and power bi la, 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 la.